Hi friends! Today we're going to talk about my plans for July Camp NaNoWriMo. If you are new to the writing world, NaNoWriMo is National Novel Writing Month. Uh, it typically takes place in November and it's basically where those of us who write like to get together and write 50,000 words in 30 days. Um, there's an entire website, NaNoWriMo.org, and a lot of the work that NaNoWriMo does is benefiting young writers groups, which is one reason why um, we use it as a fundraiser for the Worldwide Write-A-Thon because we like to support young writers as well. So Camp NaNoWriMo takes place in April and July and essentially it's the same as regular NaNo but you get to choose your own goal. So some of us choose words, some of us choose pages, some choose time restraints, some choose many many different things. And so essentially what we're going to talk about today is what my plans are, what my goals are, and where I'm at in the book that I'm working on because might as well talk about that too since that's the project I'll be working on. So my goal for Camp NaNoWriMo is just to work. I don't have an actual set goal um, because I will be doing a little bit of writing, a little bit of revising, some drafting, some outlining, some plotting. I'm basically reworking a story. So um, there's going to be a lot of different things. I don't want to do anything timed. I don't want to do anything based off of pages. So essentially my goal is just to work and be productive on my story, say four out of seven days a week. I feel like as long as I work on it four out of seven days during the week, that's going to be an accomplishment for me. So that's kind of my goal at the moment. I just said I wasn't going to have a goal and then told you what my goal was. So the story that I'm working on is French Grim Reaper, also The Anku's Curse, same book. But when I tell you The Anku's Curse, you're like, what? I don't know what that is. Um, so when I say French Grim Reaper, you get an idea of what we're talking about. Though it's not set in France and we only meet the Grim Reaper once, but it's fine. It's fine. Uh, so essentially, uh, if you've been around, you know that I wrote a second-ish draft of this story late last year, beginning of this year in January, and then sent it off to my critique partner, Kate Cavanaugh, and got her notes back, um, feedback on the story. And for the past couple of months, I've just been working on figuring out uh, what needs to change, what I want to change, how I want to change things. Um, I've been working on... A little bit with Julie and Amber trying to figure out some things as well on what I want to change and how I want to change it and I think I'm at a good place right now on where I need to go to move forward so what I have been working on these past couple of weeks and what I will continue working on probably at the beginning of July um, because I do still have quite a few steps to go I have been I put all of the major plot points of basic story structure on to some three by five note cards and I took those and I went through my printed manuscript which is right here. Um, I went through my printed manuscript and I marked out the scenes that definitely are no longer going to be in the book because they don't make sense for the new plot line. Um, marked things that could be changed and reworked and things that definitely were going to stay. And so once I knew what was for sure going to stay, I wrote them on pink post-it notes, all of the different scenes. And that's where I'm at right now. So my plan is to take those post-it notes and put them on the plot point note cards. I know this is a lot. I'm sorry. Um, take my post-it notes of scenes I currently have, put those on my plot point note cards so that I know where things are going to fall in the story. I also have several scenes that I know need to be added in based off of how I want the story to change. So I'll be putting those on blue post-it notes, writing in what the scenes are that need to be added in for where I know what is going to be changed, and then put those on the plot point cards where those are going to fall in the story. And then I can take a look through and see what do I need to add, what's missing, 
what plot points are not being addressed enough, what, you know, needs to be moved around, and then I can figure out what needs to be filled in. And then once I have that idea, I can make an outline slash a timeline of where things are going to fall out in the story, and then I can start the new draft. That's kind of why there's no like set, like hourly, wordly, pagely goal because it's all up in the air from here. So that's pretty much what I'm going to be working on for July. Um, I have a writing retreat that I'll be going on in July in the middle-ish. I'm also going to be working on reading The Count of Monte Cristo which is like 1300 pages and also um, doing some beta reading for Wallace. So I've got plenty going on in July which is why I think four out of seven days is um, reasonable with my you know less stress motto for 2022 which is going okay-ish. Um, you know just having a good time so I'm petting Flash if you're wondering what my arm is doing over here. Just, there's just a Flash here. He's being very needy. Um, but yeah, so that's what I'm working on. Let me know in the comments below what you're going to be working on during NaNo if you're taking part in NaNo. And if you're not, just let me know what you're working on in general because I would love to know. That is all I have for today. I post reading, writing, book, and planner related videos a couple of times a week. If you don't want to miss anything I have going on in the future, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell down below. And until then, I will see you guys next time. Bye!